Welcome to the ultimate beach tour Oahu, Hawaii. Here are some of the beaches we've covered in part one, south side, and part two, east side. Welcome to our ultimate beach tour, Oahu, Hawaii, where we are taking you on an in-depth tour around the entire island, reviewing over 20 of the best beaches Oahu has to offer. If beaches are your thing, this series is for you. North Shore gained its popularity from the massive waves here during the winter time. It also hosts the world's biggest surfing competition every single year. We will be reviewing the most famous beach in for surfing, snorkeling, turtle spotting, a beach for nude lovers, and even cliff jumping. Just be out with us to the North Shore of Oahu. We're kicking it off here at Sunset Beach, just a little over an hour drive from Waikiki. At Sunset Beach, you can be guaranteed a front row seat on the beach to witness big wave surfing during the winter season. In the summer months, the massive waves flatten and the tranquil waters give way to some great snorkeling, swimming and other water activities. But of course, they don't call it Sunset Beach for nothing. This beach is renowned for some of Hawaii's most spectacular sunsets. This beach spans over two miles with soft, gentle sloping of beige coarse sands into the Pacific. This beach does have lifeguards and restrooms located across the road and getting to this beach is as simple as pulling off to the side of the road. It does have designated parking, but it's limited so you may have to park further up the road or before getting to the beach. Sunset Beach offers very little shade from the tree lines in the morning, so be sure to come equipped. And speaking of equipped, if you do come here during the summer months when the water is tranquil, you will be able to enjoy a full range of water sports. Keep in mind, there are no rentals here, so bring what you need to enjoy the day. You can find a lot of people enjoying takeout while watching the sunset. If you're at this beach and you want to grab a bite, we highly recommend Ted's Bakery. If you know us, you know we love it here. We highly recommend their garlic shrimp. It's to die for. Personally speaking, it's better than Giovanni's shrimp truck. Just saying. Plus, when you order a combo or a large size meal, you'll get a free slice of their famous Ted's pie, which you'll find all over Oahu and it's baked right on the premises. You can choose from over five different flavors. If you've eaten at Ted's, drop a comment. Let us know what your experience was like and if you agree. Ihukai Beach is one of the venues for the triple crown of surfing. It is a short distance away from Sunset Beach, further along Kamehameha Highway. Ihukai Beach is a part of the Banzai Pipeline, and it's known for powerful waves that break over a sharp reef no more than a few feet away from the surface. These massive tubes make this beach one of the most dangerous surf spots in the world. This beach also seems to be located in the backyards of dozens of private homes, Sunset Beach Elementary School, and the Peace Pillbox hike. You can watch the video on this hike in one of our Oahu itinerary challenge videos. We'll add a link in the description. This long stretch of beach is great for strolls. It is not usually crowded, but beautiful nonetheless. There are lifeguards, showers, changing areas, picnic benches, and roosters. Yes, lots of them. In the summer months, it's great for most water activities. Just bring your own equipment. You're beginning to see a pattern here, right? The sand on this beach is very fine and compact, with a gradual slope into the water. Like most of the beaches, there is little shade on the beach from the tree line. 
Food options are Ted's, a few scattered shops, and North Shore shrimp trucks located across from Shark's Cove. Waimea Beach Park is located just past Haleiwa Beach across from Waimea Falls Park and 50 minutes away from Waikiki. Waimea Bay is famous for its huge waves that you can see every year from October to April. Many professional surfers come here to catch the 25-foot waves that crash on the shore. Like everywhere on the North Shore, the waves are huge during the winter months and flatten during the summer. This beach is awesome for many different reasons, including the rock. No, I don't mean the rock, Johnson, but an actual rock located at the end of the beach. You can't miss it, and I'm sure this would be one of the main reasons you would come to this beach. Even if you can't muster up the courage to jump off this 30-foot rock, you can definitely watch the locals and thrill seekers take the plunge. Not to mention how entertaining it is to see first timers build the courage to finally take the leap of faith. Besides that massive rock, there are a few rocks in the water. You can pretty much do most water sports here during the summer months. But again, no rentals, so come equipped. On the opposite side of the bay, you will find the iconic mission of St. Peter and Paul Church and the freshwater river that flows from the Waimea Falls. The sand here is medium coarse, and there is a lifeguard station along with full restrooms, changing area, and showers. There are a few picnic tables and public parking, but like most places, the parking is super limited. So don't be surprised if there is no parking unless you plan ahead and arrive early. Early birds catches the worm and gets the parking. There are some food trucks further up the road from this beach, right across from Shark's Cove, where you'll find many different foods to choose from. Now, Laniakea Beach did not make our list because it's a great beach to lay out or it's water sports friendly, but more so for its turtles. And let's face it, who comes to Hawaii and don't want to see sea turtles or Honu sunbathing on the beach? This beach is also known as a turtle beach for obvious reasons. Now, for the record, you are not guaranteed to see any turtles when you get there, but the probabilities of seeing them are the highest on this island. We can't mention green sea turtles without mentioning the rules. Keep back 10 feet and do not touch. Simply put, it's against the law. Do not shoot the messenger here. No, seriously. These green sea turtles are protected and many people continuously break the laws for Instagram or Facebook photo opportunities and get too close or even try to touch them. We've created an entire vlog on the facts on the Hawaiian green sea turtles and all the rules and regulations so you can't say we didn't tell you so. Getting here is a little challenging as you have to park across the road on the side of the road and play chicken to get across to the beach side by dodging the North Shore traffic. Parking here is super limited as there is just a small dirt area off the side of the road. And as a heads up, when coming here 15 minutes out, if you hit traffic, this area is the reason why. Everyone slows down here for two reasons. One, to respect people trying to run across the road to get to the beach side as there is no designated crossing lanes. Two, people in their cars slow down to stick their heads out the window in hopes to catch a glimpse of any of the sea turtle sunbathing on the beach. It's rare to find people utilizing this beach for swimming or sunbathing, just because there are so many other options that are not far from this beach and are much better. It's a smaller strip of sand and it does have a lifeguard, 
but no restrooms. Not to mention, there are a lot of rocks in the water. It's definitely worth stopping here, both going to other beaches and if you did not see a sea turtle going to other beaches, maybe you will see them on your way back. There is a 90 minute guided snorkeling tour in Turtle Cove. That includes a professional instructor, equipment and safety lessons. Explore the open water in search of green sea turtles and other sea life. We'll include a link in the description. Haleiwa Beach Park is located 40 minute drive from Waikiki. It is a gorgeous, relaxing beach with an awesome view. It's only a few minutes away from the famous town of Haleiwa, where you can grab shave ice, food, and snacks. Notice I said shave ice, not shaved ice. Yes, it's a thing here. You're welcome. This beach park offers all the bells and whistles. Water activities such as fishing, scuba diving, surfing, and swimming. Amenities are plenty of parking, picnic tables, restrooms, showers, bus transportation, lifeguards, and even a kid's playground. Although North Shore beaches can be roofless, the waters here are much calmer because of the concrete walls that break the waves that are perfect for first time surfers and swimmers. The ocean floor is rocky, so bring water shoes. The sand here is fine with a quick drop off into the ocean. The only con to this beach, and it is my personal con, is that you don't feel secluded. It feels very open with buses that pull up often. It is a major stop for tourists. So you get this massive rush of people that hang out for 20 minutes, then get back on the bus, and it's a continuous stream of people. But besides that, this beach is awesome. You can find great eats in town just a few minutes away, so it's definitely a beach we feel you should check out while you're here. As we mentioned in the beginning of the vlog, there is a nude beach. And now, here we have it. Last but not least, Polo Beach. Now if you want secluded, bingo, you're in the right place. This beach is 45 minutes away from Waikiki and is your primo location for nude sunbathers. To get here, there's a small entrance off the side of the road with no designated parking. If you're not really looking, you will miss it. There are no markers, no signs. It's just a thing, if you know, you know. One thing I can say, you'll see a long trail off to the right near the Polo Horse Ranch. A hint that you have arrived, you'll probably notice parked cars off the side of the road. But that depends on the time you arrive. When we arrived, there was only one car off on the side of the road. In this specific area, you want to be vigilant. Keep your cars empty of any valuables. Put them in the trunk of your car if you must, or if not, take it with you. While we were there, we noticed lots of broken glass, which is an indication of you know what. Yes, car break-ins. It's a thing here. Once you've parked, it's about a five minute walk through this path that opens up into Polo Beach. There is really nothing much to this beach besides the fact that it's a nude beach. And I know you're wondering, did you guys go nude? Well, of course we did. Do you think we drove 45 minutes from our home in Waikiki just to turn back? No, just kidding. There are no amenities on this beach. The sand is coarse, mixed with branches falling from the trees. The ocean floor is rocky, with very strong currents during the winter months. The only shade you get on this beach is from the tree lines in the morning. So if you do not want to burn your private parts, <laughs> bring an umbrella. Anywho, hope you've enjoyed our North Shore Beach review. If you did and you've made it this far, consider becoming a subscriber. And if you're coming into this video, know that this is part three of a four part series. Part one and two are in the description below. 
Coming up in our next Ultimate Beach Tour of Oahu, we hit the west side beaches. Just, Just be, be out, out with us, us and mahalo, mahalo for watching. watching.